What's good, people? I got a comment from somebody over here that we're going to answer in this video. Before the video starts, I just want to say that videos are going to get uploaded onto this channel as I receive questions and comments. So if there's something in particular that you want to see on this channel, you can just type it in the comment section. And when I have the time, I can make the video. I just think I have a Warhammer channel that I'm spending a lot of my energy on. The same energy that I had towards this channel in the past, I'm putting towards the Warhammer channel just because of the things that have gone on over the past couple months with this channel and the entire content creator base over here. I'm just hoping to spend my energy on a different group of, you know, content creators and a different group of different game in the hopes that um, I can be received a little bit differently. And um, I, I just have a different group of people to work together with and to, to talk about what happened and what my experience was. So just keep in mind, if you guys want to watch a video specific to Match the Gathering on this channel, you can type it in one of the comments inside the video. That way I'll um, just keep the channel updated that way. So it's specifically what you guys want, as opposed to me just putting out these generalized videos for everybody that takes a lot of my time. So inside this video, Paulus asked the question, what do you say to Nelly Borka? And, you know, this is in relation to my, uh, the mindset, how to build a Boros commander deck video. And inside these mindset videos, I basically go over the sentence or the saying that people must have in order to understand the thought process going into building each type of commander deck. And the saying that that Paulus is referring to for the Boros color pie, in my opinion, is to say, because if there's the color white, you say, how do I control this game? And then because it's the color red, how do I win this game as fast as possible? And then when we combine those two, you say, how do I control this game so that I can win this game as fast as possible? And Paulus, to answer your question, brother, there's not, you say, what do you say to Nelly Borka? Now, Nelly Borka, if I pull up Nelly over here, Nelly Borka is a Boros commander, Paulus. So there's nothing that you would say different. What you say is in relation to the color pie. It has nothing to do with the actual commander. So because Nelly Borka is a Boros commander, Paulus, you're still going to say the same thing. You're going to look at this commander and you're going to ask yourself, how do I build this deck in a way that allows me to control the game so that I can win this game as fast as possible? Now, when we take a look at Nelly Borka, Nelly Borka reads, whenever Nelly Borka impulsive accuser attacks suspect target creature, then go to all suspected creature. A suspected creature has menace and can't block. She also reads, whenever one or more creatures in opponent controls deals combat damage to one or more of your opponents, you and the controller of those creatures each draw a card. So she gives you the opportunity to draw cards. Most importantly, she goads creatures. And so in other words, this deck is highly dependent upon your opponent's creatures dealing damage to one another. Your opponent's creatures could either have a high power or they could have low power, which when we want to say, how do we win this game as fast as possible? That to me seems like a, a roadblock because we're dependent on our opponent's creatures. So in a 40 life total game, what can we do with Nelly Borka in order for us to really speed up the game? How do we make everyone or all of our opponents lose life rapidly? As you can see over here, I pulled up the Heartless Hida Tugu. Now, the Heartless Hida Tugu says you can tap him and he's going to deal damage to each player, so to everyone, equal to half of that player's life total rounded down. So in a scenario in the universe where someone's life total is 40 and you deal half their damage, they go from being from 40 life to 20 life. And now this is the situation you're left in where if you're dependent upon your opponent's creatures dealing damage to your opponents, well, the game should go a lot faster when you're at 20 life as opposed to when you're at 40 life. So there are a lot of cards in Magic the Gathering that have the ability to do this. The Quietus Spike is another one. It's an equipment that you can equip to your creatures. 
that says the same exact thing deals combat damage to a player that player loses half their life rounded up now the idea is though is that you still need your creatures to be able to attack right and if your opponent has creatures that they can block with now suddenly that's going to infringe on our game plan so playing cards like blind obedience is going to allow you to force your opponent's creatures to enter the battlefield tapped now notice that this card is the color white and when we talked earlier about the boros color pie we say how do we control this game white says how do we control this game so that we can red win this game as fast as possible we're going to control this game by forcing our opponent's creatures to be tapped while we're attacking or i think more importantly while our opponents are attacking there are also one mana creatures that we can play, like the Gideon's Lawkeeper, where we can just pay a white mana to tap this creature, to tap one of our opponent's creatures. And this can just allow us to, as our opponent's creatures begin to untap, we can tap down those creatures to make sure that our opponent's creatures are able to deal damage to our opponent so we can draw cards and also speed up the end of the game because our opponents are being dealt damage. And also keep in mind that because we're dependent on our opponent's life total to go down, I would recommend playing a card like Quakebringer. That most importantly here, he does deal two damage during the upkeep to each opponent, which is cool. But the most important thing here is that it says your opponents can't gain life. Because the number one thing that's going to stop you from winning a game playing this type of playstyle is your opponent's gaining life. Or comboing off, but that's a completely different conversation. So if we can stop our opponents from gaining life, when we have everyone lose half of their entire life total, they have, we basically, t we eliminate their ability to recover, which is going to make it easier for us to win the game. So Paulus, I hope that answers your question, dude. Keep in mind, everybody, if you want a video like this done in the future, all you need to do is comment in the comment section below, okay? Always remember, everybody, eat healthy, okay? Work out every single day. And most importantly, you guys got to remember to believe in yourself. Because by believing in yourself, show respect to yourself, all right? Peace out, everybody.